studio mode. Most OBS users that are just streaming games or whatever probably never click the studio mode button. But let's just, let's see what that studio mode button does. Ooh. If you like this video, please subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when we release a new video. Welcome to Pull My Focus Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we bring you the inside tips on making great digital video. Studio mode. Uh, studio mode allows you to change your scenes in the background without your viewers being able to see you making those changes. Okay, so for example, if I am here, in, if I click studio mode, now right, we said before, this is kind of the preview program monitor, it's the same monitor, all monitors, you know, one to rule them all is what I said. If I click on, so that when I click on scene one, I'm changing not only my preview, what I, my work area, but also what the people see, what people actually see, okay? If I switch to studio mode with a click of a button, I get these two windows, one called program, the other one called preview. Program is what the viewers will see. Preview is what I am preparing for the viewers to see. And notice you also have transition here, and then you have access to some quick transitions and a, what's called a T-bar, okay? This is kind of a digital T-bar. So it's, it's, the, uh, it's the digital equivalent of the actual transition bar that's on a, a, a live, uh, a full studio setup, okay? Now right now, program and preview are exactly the same because when I came out of preview mode, it just split it into two. But if I switch to scene two, okay, notice that my preview is now scene two, but my program is still going out to my viewers. This is still going out to my viewers. Now, remember this wipe here, what I said was the general wipe? The Luma wipe is going to be triggered if I click this transition button. That Luma wipe just happened. Actually, let's make it a second so you can see it happen again. And what happened was it swapped now. What was in the program is now in the preview. What was in the preview is now in the program. If I do that, hit this button again, boom, the transition happens for the viewer and it transitions to what's in the preview. So this allows me to do things like, you know, change my scene. Let's see, let's change to this lower third and then hit transition using this wipe. Transition, boom. Now I can say, all right, now I want them to look at the, the girl drinking the coffee. And I'm going to change the wipe to a fade over one second. Boom. Fade over one second. Okay. Why is this important? Well, this becomes really important when you're an actual broad, doing an actual broadcast because the operator needs to see what they're working on. Another thing you'll notice in studio mode is uh, you have access to quick transitions, right? So you have predefined areas to just do, instead of using the default transition, which is a fade, I could simply click the cut button and do a cut, okay? Or I can have this set to say Luma wipe, but still do a 300 millisecond fade by clicking that button. And of course, there's always under Luma wipe, right? Of course, there's always the T bar, which allows you to do some cool stuff with the T bar. Once it's fully over, it switches. Projector. What's a projector? Projector is terrific for, I'm gonna switch this over. A projector is terrific for displaying either your preview or your program in a window, in a separate monitor completely. If you're in a kind of more of a professional broadcast setup, you it would be great if you have, I have three screens here. It would be great if I could put, you know, my preview stuff on one screen, my program stuff on another screen, and my OBS interface on a third screen. If you are in basic mode, preview mode, and you right click, you can say full screen projector or window projector. Notice how it says full, pre full screen projector preview and which monitor do you wanna to go to since I have four monitors. I'm gonna just go to the monitor we're on, boom, and it shows a full screen, non-interactive really, um, unless you have certain plugins, non-interactive display. That's how you can display it to another screen. I'm hit escape. I can set this to go to any of my screens and I will have a full screen of my preview that I can look at nice and clean. And that's great because that'll allow, allow you to see things like nice and big, close up. You can also say windowed, which brings up a nice window that you can size around, right? And put wherever you want, really. 
If you want to see the program projector, you need to be in studio mode. So I'm gonna click studio mode, okay? And then let's switch this scene back to here. Uh, so when I click the right, right when I right clicked on preview, I got full screen projector preview or windowed projector preview. If I click on the right click, the only thing I have options here is there's obviously a, obviously a screenshot, but full screen projector program and windowed projector program. Now, if I did say full screen projector program on this screen, uh, I see that. If I do full, uh, windowed projector, I see that, okay? And this allows you to, watch this, I'm going to have my program and imagine these are separate screens, my preview up at the same time. And this effectively is, you know, well, this is one monitor, this is another monitor, this is my main monitor. And when I transition between the two, it does exactly what my program and preview in my interface do. All right, so that's how you get, that's how you use projectors and that's what they're useful for. Multi-view. Multi-view is another thing that uh, most non kind of professional uh, setup OBS streamers probably will never look at. Multi-view is a great way to allow the operator, the T-bar the operator, to see everything on one screen. Every camera, every, well not everything, but the first say top number of scenes you have. So if I come up to, let's say we're in studio mode. Now I don't need to be in studio mode. I can actually not be in studio mode, but if you come up to view and go multi-view, okay? I'm gonna do a windowed multi-view, boom. This window multi-view now shows me the top eight scenes in, a, in all in one window. This is terrific because this allows you to do certain things. Right, number one, you can monitor. If it's, say with these are all different cameras, like this one here is, this one here is a camera, right? So scene seven over here, scene seven is my camera and my socks. <laughs> um, scene three is something else, right? So if we go back to this multi view, right here, now I get access to all of these. Since I'm in preview mode, since I'm in preview mode, I can click each of these windows and not only does it change the preview, but it also changed the program. Okay, so one click will do my automatic transition. All right, if we, get, if we go to studio mode, okay, once again, and I set this to scene two, we'll transition over to it. I set this to scene seven or scene six, okay? And now we go view, multi-view, windowed. Okay, here's my multi-view. I know it's a little confusing because I'm all on one screen. But now, when I click, I'm changing the preview. I'm not affecting what's coming out in the program over here. I'm only changing the preview, which comes in handy too. If this was a separate screen on a separate window, instead of me having to hit the scenes here, just, just the top eight scenes, just the top eight scenes. Because if I had a thousand scenes here, there's no real estate for all those scenes. But this allows me to click around, you know, and, and it's, it might be a little bit of inter, better interface for some people. But multi-view basically is that. It's a multiple view on one screen or window of the top eight, or I think there's a setting for 24 uh, scenes. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all of our other OBS tutorials on the channel, plus all of our additional stuff that we have about video and film production. And we'll see you next time.